All right, 916 on the money watch. There is now less than a week and a half until the April 15th tax deadline. Don't panic, but don't rush through things so you so quickly rather that you miss out on the tax deductions and credits you deserve. You may have guessed this already, but certified financial planner Joe Bird is here to talk about the most commonly missed tax deductions. Morning, Tom. Good morning, Joe. Uh, so let's start off with charitable contributions because you say this is a very big one that a lot of people miss. Well, you know, it's not the check that you write because you have a record of that. But right. oftentimes we put stuff, Goodwill, Salvation Army, those things we give away. Hopefully you got a receipt and it's tucked away somewhere. That is a tax deduction for you. Now, if it's over 500 bucks, you need a receipt directly from them. But you know, you go to Goodwill and you fill out your own receipt, which a lot of people do, but then they tuck it away and they forget about it. So don't forget that one. Is it a good idea when you're doing those kind of things, by the way, if it is under five, let's say it's $100 worth sure. of stuff, yeah. to get a receipt anyway oh yeah you should definitely have a receipt that you did that I mean it really substantiates the claim that you've been there not just fabricated something all right next up right. tuition and fees I, I didn't realize you could write this off well there are certain tax credits and tax deductions for tuition payments and for and for uh, uh, tuition payments and for books and those kinds of things it could be worth a couple thousand dollars credits you know tax credit is a tax refund get uh, it's better than a tax deduction because it's a direct right. check that you're going to get back to you so take a look at it It could be worth up to four thousand dollars with the economic problems we've had the last few years a lot of people looking for jobs out there yep. still yep. to this day yeah and they can use that well, you, right, can use, you can use your job search expenses, costs of resumes, uh, uh, trips that you might take. So keep track of those kinds of expenses, and they qualify even if you don't get the job. Uh, now, doesn't this have to be, isn't there some kind of qualifier yeah, on yes, that? Yes, yes. So it has to be in the same career. So if you want to become a nuclear physicist and you travel around the country trying to get those jobs, <laughs> it ain't going to work. Oh, rats. <laughs> now I need to talk to my wife as she's <laughs> filling this out. All right, so retirement savers credit now this is this is for low-income folks they're trying to save for the future it's worth a tax credit of up to a thousand dollars per taxpayer if you put a couple thousand dollars into an IRA the government's going to give you a thousand dollars that's a 50 percent return on your IRA money so if you're wow. going to put two thousand dollars in the government's going to give you a credit going to send you a check for a thousand dollars going to cover half the cut no but it's only you have to have certain income thresholds so and you, you can find that that all close. this information if you google it there's all kinds of information all right and finally I love this one gambling losses well you can't write off the loss directly however you can use the losses to offset your winnings so if you hit the big one you want to have records that you had some losses as a kid I used to go to the, the horse track with my dad right. and I wondered why all these people were running around picking up the losing tickets <laughs> the losing <laughs> because you can use those to offset your gains. that's what it's all about <laughs> all right Joe thanks a lot for coming we'll You're see welcome, you again Joe. soon 918 almost 919